Hey YouTube, this is John coming to you with some quick thoughts on the Rilo 360. I've been shooting with it for about two months and I've had it up here in Canada and used it quite a bit. I think the biggest strengths of the Rilo are the being able to reframe into a 1080 frame and being able to get some really smooth movements between um, uh, video so it does in-camera pans and I'm going to show you this clip right here. It's all one shot except for one cutaway at the end. This is shot with the Rilo on the, uh, over the Niagara Rapids. Enjoy this clip. The uh, time-lapse feature is one of the best things about this camera. Um, one of the tricks I use is to put it on a long selfie pole and put it out my sunroof, close the sunroof to hold the pole in place and just drive. And you can get several angles because, you know, with a 360, you can get some um, stuff behind your car, beside your car, and in front of your car, and get uh, lots of great uh, motion time lapses uh, just with one run. So I find that highly valuable. There's a lot of features on this camera that you can uh, look up online and look at other reviews. I'm talking to you, is it uh, valuable as a stock producer? And I'd say yes. You know, a lot of times I don't like to shoot with cameras in the middle of the day. Uh, I just don't like the lighting. But for motion time lapses or you know quick grabs, uh, this camera is fantastic. I would not use this camera in low light. I would not use it after sunset whatsoever. Um, the quality is not going to be there. You know the 360 photos are fun to play with. There's apps out there you can animate the photos as well, and um, you can sell those as stock, which I have done. Uh, I haven't made a lot of money with this camera yet, but from looking at its abilities and what it can do, I would expect I can pay this off in about six months with some working with it quite a bit. So, you know, that's something you need to decide if it's worth it. If you have a good time-lapse workflow down now and you add your motion blur and you have better cameras in the Rilo, now this may not be for you, but if you haven't done a lot of time-lapses, um, the reason why this stands out over most cameras is the image stabilization will blow your mind. So you can walk with this camera around a town, around a city, around a building, and get rock solid stabilization and add the motion blur in the app, and it's fantastic. So for quick time lapses that have good commercial value, it's the best tool I've found for the price. The footage and photos are on par with the GoPro. Maybe not uh, the top end GoPro is probably just a little bit better in quality, but you know, from a view perspective or from a commercial perspective, I don't see it as a problem. <laughs> Um, if you have any questions or use a 360 camera, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Uh, I would call this camera a buy. Uh, it you know fits in your pocket, a little selfie stick. I put it on. Another reason I use it is you know I have parents that are not not well health wise, and I can do little video tours, and they can see what I'm doing. 
and my mom really enjoys watching that on Facebook. So that's another reason I, I have a 360 camera, so it serves more than one purpose. But hey, yeah, I call it a buy. I'll leave affiliate link below. Any chance that you get a chance to support my channel um, is great. If not, I'm glad you're here. It doesn't matter to me. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.